Automated Artificer. Two mana, one, three. Artificer. Or creature. Um, tap, add a white. Add a colorless. Spend this mana only to activate an ability or cast an artifact spell. Hmm. I mean, if you have a bunch of... Uh, I mean, I feel like there's enough artifacts where this could be good in mm -hmm. your limited deck. And it's a 1-3 blocker if you don't have a low end. So, I'd pick it uh, if you're like, already know you're going to be doing that, those yeah. colors. So. You do need to know you're doing it. Um, for Constructed. Forsaken Monument. So, because of this card, whenever you tap a permanent for the colorless, add an additional colorless. Colorless creatures get plus 2, plus 2. Where because of color spell you get like Ooh. this card basically the reason this card isn't good yet is because there's not enough support this is part of the support that it needs I'm yeah. going to say that the Forsaken Monument deck sees play in this set this is one of the cards that will be in that what deck what are you ramping to with the extra mana um, there's a few X spells you don't even need that you literally just use it because you're gaining life and every creature is a bigger threat double anthemed okay. and then you just play every card you draw and so you're not ramping, you just gain cards that draw you cards, and that just... They're just powerful. Yeah, exactly. You're just powerful. <laughs> That's cool. Bronze Cudgels. This, I was thinking if this is the wrong card, I'm just like, no, it's still too inefficient. But, yeah, one mana, artifact equipment, equips only for one, so it's pretty cheap there. But it's ability, tap two. Until end of turn, equipped creature gets plus X plus zero, where X is the number of times this ability has resolved this turn. So, two mana for plus one oh. plus is O. Four mana for plus three plus O. 6 mana for plus 6 plus O. 8 mana for plus 10 plus O. Yeah. Yeah. That's okay. I don't know. Like, you have to spend so much mana, it's not per it's not saving the creature, it's just letting it kill something. It has to get through, you have to equip it so they know it's coming. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's 1 mana, 1 equip. It's a, I wouldn't be excited to take this unlimited. Yeah. In the Forsaken Monument deck, I even decided with like 20 mana, this still probably doesn't make it, because you can't get this creature through anyways. <laughs> even with the maximum overdrive. Root Suit. I love that name. 3 mana, 4, 3 vehicle, with Vigilance and Crew 1. It's your common vehicle for your vehicle deck if you need it. Mm -hmm. And it's just, you know, 4, 3 is pretty good in this set, so. And if you have multiple creatures, this is Crews as a threat and Clues as a blocker. Good card. Good card. Circuit Mender. Oh, by the way, if we don't talk about Standard, that's because we're not talking about Standard. We're just talking about Limited, all right? Yeah, that card doesn't go in Standard. Nope. <laughs> Circuit Mender. 3 mana, 2, 3, artifact creature, Insect. When it enters the battlefield, you gain two life. When it leaves the battlefield, draw a card. Not when it dies, when it leaves the battlefield. Ooh. That's, that's very a, important. That is a good thing to notice. Uh, I like this card. Um, I would pick it in limited if I didn't have anything else, you know? Gives you a card, replaces itself as an artifact. It's weird how many of these cards feel like uh, artifact cards that go in artifact sets and cards that go in enchantment sets, and they just blend it really well. Yep, yep. there it is. Hey. So this is the same card, except it has to die and has one less health. And it was great in limited. Yeah. And in constructed, it almost got there, but didn't, just barely didn't. We now have Forsaken Monuments, and that leaves the battlefield, Ooh. meets it, avoids exile triggers, which are prominent. Gonna make a standard. Yep. Could be. And also, that deck faces Vanishing Verse, which it has to do monocot. It can't exile this. Vanishing Verse doesn't help against this deck. Yeah. But this looks cuter, so. This definitely looks cuter. No denying <laughs> that. Wait, a cute insect? Okay, I'm not well, saying it's not cute. Fair enough, fair it, enough. It, it's, it's a 3 out of 5 versus a 5 out of 5. I'll <laughs> yeah. accept it. Containment Construct. 2 mana, 2 1 Construct. Whenever you discard a card, you may exile that card from your graveyard. If you do, you may play that card this turn. It's not card here. You can play that card. Oh, so like for channel and stuff? Yeah, so you can channel it and then still play it. 2 mana, 2 1. Yeah, I mean, it's okay. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if it's... Worth, like, if you're saving all that mana, it's not really worth it that much to get the channel and the other thing yeah. to me. It feels like it's a two mana, two one, and that's why it sees play. And then, yeah. oh, hey, I'm at eight mana. It actually does something more. Yeah, you can just boom, boom something. Um, For Constructed, I a lot of people are trying to do combo decks with this card in Constructed. I can see it. I uh, don't... What oh, channel cards? Um, There's a few cards that just naturally cause you to discard cards to effects. And so this allows you to play them real fast. I mean, okay, I can see this being good with that that one samurai that you t 
two mana channel, discard it, you know, and, and then one mana play it, and then it comes back to your hand, and then you kind of just have a draw, oh. like a weird draw attack engine, you know what I mean? That could be cool. Um, another theme is, as we'll get to, there's some lands with channel. Ooh, okay. So, so those, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, those ones are good. I see that in standard for sure. Um, but yeah, I think it, it's like it's good. It's cute. You can't build a <laughs> deck around it. And so this card needs really good reason to be in your deck. I don't think it has that good good enough of a reason. Mm -hmm. Dramatist's Puppet. Four mana, two, four construct. When Dramatist's Puppet enters the battlefield, for each kind of counter on target permanent, put another counter of that kind or remove one from it. Ooh. I mean, there's a lot of modify, so it could help. And, like, before I saw this set, I'm like, this is not a good stat line, but I realized four health is actually good enough in this set. I mean, it's kind of late at four, but yeah, it'll it'll be fine. Yeah, and it's, it could buff your guy, I guess. In other sets, I'd say way too late for this creature size, but apparently good enough. There's enough plus one plus one counters. Yeah, you're not excited to pick it, but mm -hmm. take it. Eater of Virtue, one mana legendary artifact equipment, one to equip. When a equipped creature dies, exile it. The equipped creature gets plus two plus zero. As long as a card exiled with Eater of Virtue has flying, a quick creature has flying. Same with First Strike, Double Strike, Death Touch, Haste, Hexproof, Indestructible, Lifelink, Menace, Protection, Reach, Trample, and Vigilance. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I mean, it's like a really good... Uh, what's that card? Bone Splitter. Yeah, I was going to say, this card is Bone Splitter off the base. Yeah, definitely um, pick this all the time in Limited. Yeah. For Constructed, there's a lot of creatures... There are the cheap creatures that you want to put this on have death triggers that you want to get. Oh, yeah. Um, like Eye Twitch. Um, yeah. There is a one mana one two flying first strike, so this would this could build its own deck. There's enough support for that, but it's always weird when you get these cheap um, legendary cards where it's like you want to draw one instantly, but you don't want to draw a second one at any point in the game. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah. It's a having this True. weird conflict of interest, so. Yeah. I'm gonna go against that seating play constructed, but yeah, me too. Someone will play it and they'll win a game. <laughs> Ecolo Ecologist Terrarium, two mana artifact. When it's the battlefield, search your library for a basic land, reveal it, put to your hand the shuffle, and then tap two tap, sacrifice it, put a plus one plus one counter target creature, activate as a sorcery. Hmm. Yeah, this is pretty good. I if you're, like, going three-color in this set, you definitely want this. Oh, yeah. If you're three-color, this is necessary. This is, like, the three-color enabler. Um, yeah, if you're not three-color, I wouldn't play this. You, even, it doesn't even really ramp that well, because it's not, yeah. You would need to really have value from that modify trigger, and it's four mana for that modify trigger at sorcery speed. Yeah, no. Only play this if you're trying to do a lot of colors. Yep. High-speed hover bike. Two mana, two, two artifact vehicle with flash flying, and when it enters the battlefield, tap up to one target creature. Cruise for only one. This is a good card. Yeah. I like, mean, a 2-2 two, two flyer for two is good. I mean, you have to crew it, but like... Yeah, and you get flash speed, so they don't see it coming. You can knock, stop their biggest creature. Yeah, I like this card. Yeah. No, I think it's a good it. card. Um, Take it. I was like, think about if it sees play in the ninja deck. Because <sighs> you could bounce it back to your hand and then so you flash tap it. a creature, then you attack yeah yeah i can see it i mean even constructed ninja i mean it's definitely good in the limited ninja deck i don't yeah. know about constructed ninja. yeah i don't think i think it's just a little too just like a step too weak for the constructed ninjas and constructed ninjas it's not a ninja itself like iron apprentice one mana zero zero but and so that's the plus one plus one care so it's basically a one one and it's already modified worth noting um when it dies if it had cameras on it put those cameras on target creature you control Oh, modular. Well, but advanced but, modular. Yeah, any any creature. If this you're is a good card. If you're a modified deck, this is a great card. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I mean, even if you're not, it's okay. Oh yeah, you could just like any just card passes that... a counter off. Yeah. That's a one drop. That's pretty nice. Sorry. Ah. 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 Get out of here. Ah. Nah. Okay. If I can. Oh, you're done with it. No, I just was like trying to get all back to the positions. Okay. Alright. So, yeah, I'm, I'm done with Iron Practice. Mech Titan Core. Two mana, two, four vehicle that crews for two. But the big reason you play it, five mana. Exile, Mech Titan Core, and four others. Make Mech Titan a ten, legendary 10 10 art 
construct artifact creature token with flying, vigilance, trample, lifelink, and haste. <laughs> and it's all colors. If it leaves the battlefield, so even if they don't kill it, return all other cards exiled with Mechtian Core, except for Mechtian Core itself. And they're tapped under your control. So. Oh, wait. Oh, you still lose the Mech Titan core. Okay, but you get everything else back. Yeah. That's pretty sick. This, I this I think, is what you're rampy to in that Forsaken Monument deck. Oh, yeah. Dude, you can even play this in uh, Limited, to be honest. Yeah. There's probably enough artifacts where you could make it happen. We talked about how four health is important. Yeah, it's like four health for two. Two mana, two, four. Yeah, yeah. So this, I think, already makes it in Limited that way, and then it's like the constant threat. You can exile it flash speed so if they kill one of your artifact creatures tap five <laughs> <laughs> merc titan exactly i just love mech titan yeah it doesn't seem that hard to get to to be honest yeah. and a um, mech titan is um it actually perfectly evades a lot of cards with fading a lot of people are saying fading hope starting to rotate out of the formats with its other card uh support cards getting banned which means that mech Ti the mech titan itself becomes a lot more resilient nice especially because you could flash it in so even the sorcerer like the sorcery speed exile doesn't work and the single target exile only does mono colored and this is all colors heck yeah so next time might actually see some serious standard play mirror box Love. Like three mana card. artifact everyone loves this card whether or not it sees play <laughs> yeah. the legend rule doesn't apply to permanency control we could be done there i'd be happy with this card <laughs> yeah each legendary creature you control gets plus one plus one each non-token you control gets plus one plus one for each other creature you control with the same name as that creature. Each non-token creature. Yeah, this is cool. Yeah. I mean, I just like cards like this. I don't know. I, I can't. I don't know any broken things you can do with it. Yeah. But All right. So, um, first of all, limited, big. Legendary um, tribal. Yeah, legendary tribal. I don't think you can do that. Limited. Oh, yeah. Limited, don't grab it. Yeah, don't yeah. touch this one. Yeah, but constructed. Um, so first of all, this is a gr that's a great um, like, this is something you play for fun decks. Mm -hmm. But also, there's a card, God of Kinship, which already me we've been already supporting this kind of theme. As long as you control three or more legendary creatures, it's a six six with vigilance for four. And you can tap two, look at the top six cards of your library, get your legendary creature among them, and put them into your hand. So this is card advantage for legendary decks. Um, there is a possibility, there is a legitimate possibility of a legendary deck coming into standard because of this. Really? Um, it's very, it, I think it's... And this is good with that, that uh, the, the green march too, because you want to get the copies. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. But there's, what I'm saying is there's enough legendary creatures that there is hope. It's hope. Fingers crossed. It's Knock probably it. tier four. <laughs> it's not... <laughs> the best deck i don't know how you balance out legendary creatures and non-legendary but there's enough legendary creatures in existence and enough of them really like being in play nice yeah also the fact cool. that legend rule doesn't apply to permanents not just creatures Your lands. so yeah there's legendary lands mm -hmm. there's legendary artifacts there's legendary enchantments i'm sure I'm okay. excited to see what people do. Yeah. I'm I just like I like fun. tribal and I like legendary, so legendary tribal is just cool to me. It's beautiful. Network terminal, three. Oh my gosh! Hold up, hold up. Sorry. What? Um, it's entirely possible that in Earth they bring back the um, historic spells, which is basically when you cast legendary spells, you get a benefits. That could happen in Brothers War. In the next set. In the next. In one. And the legend rule does that count as the legend rule? It's a legendary. <laughs> That's sick. That's dope. Network terminal. Terminal. Three mana artifact. Tap add one mana of any color. So it's just your mana rock. And then tap one tap. Tap another untapped artifact you control. Disc draw a card, then discard. Whoa. This I think good. that's a good mana rock. Yeah, definitely play this if you're trying to do three or more colors and limited. But also, um, even without that, it's just good. It's a good cycler if you just have a lot of artifacts. Yeah. yeah. Um, I Like, I think it's only one of, though. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Constructed, we have better mana rocks. Yeah, constructed, nope. Ninja's Kunai. One mana, equip one. It's an equipment. Equipped creature has tap one tap. Sacrifice Ninja's Kunai, deals three damage to any target. <laughs> this is what you play in your green white decks or something like that. Yeah, so this modifies a creature, and then oh, it's modifies. a kill. And otherwise, it's a three mana kill spell. 
true. I think yeah. a color three mana colorless skill spell is good enough. Yeah, pretty good. Uh, you don't take it over the red. If you're in red and you're playing this, that just sucks. But in every other color, in I mean, blue, sacrificing an artifact for those triggers. True. So I guess in red it's okay. Yeah. Play this. Just play this. It's good. Yeah. It's oh, and blue loves this because it's a kill spell, and they don't get enough of those. Yeah, dude. Yeah, blue loves this. Papercraft decoy. Two mana, two, one, frog. When it Heck leaves yeah. the battlefield, you may pay two if you do draw a card. Leaves the battlefield. So if you ninjutsu it. Yeah. Interesting. I don't know. I don't think... I don't think it's that good, yeah, I, to be honest. Like, it's a two mana, two, one, but... When it le and they're you have to pay two. Yeah. Ugh. It's going to leave the battlefield during Ugh. your turn when you need to play a three drop. Yeah. Yeah, the cost is too much. It's not that good. I wouldn't play it. Don't You don't want to pick this, really. Well, okay, hold up. It's a two mana, two, one. It can interact on turn two. Yeah, but there's better ones. That's what I'm saying. Oh, like, fair I enough. Know, I don't fair know. Like, I mean, if you're picking this because you need a two drop, sure. But Good point. You need, Yeah, you have to pick this because you need a two drop. Mm-hmm. All right, fair enough. Patchwork Automaton. Two mana, one, one, with ward two, and wherever you cast an artifact spell, put plus one, plus one counter on this. Hmm. For limited, I don't really like it. I don't think... There's unless you somehow drafted, like, a like 100% artifact deck. Well, hold up. There, You could get, like... What about 30% artifacts? No. <laughs> Whenever you, That's terrible. Whenever you cast an artifact spell, put a plus one, then you're not getting that many uh, buffs. Well, if it's like if the you're three I'm talking drops, about limited. Yeah, I know. Oh. Um. So like three mana, it's a two two. Four mana, it's a three three. Like if you cast two artifacts, you are a little behind when you first play it. But mm -hmm. if you cast two artifacts after that, it's a two mana three three. Well, but it's not a two mana three three. It's a two mana one one, and then on turn four, it's a three three, which is a four mana three three technically. Mm. So it's like not. I see great. the issue. Okay. Yeah. Constructed as I was talking about that four sick and monument. Dude, deck. this would be sick and constructed. Yeah. Yeah. Especially because you can. Yeah. Because you could not. You could go 100 percent artifacts basically. Yeah. 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 And constructed, this would be cool. I mean, and I do think it's possible in limited to have a deck where all of your non like instant sorcery cards are artifacts. I think it's possible. And so if you can do, pull that off, try. But yeah. This is definitely something you pick in pack two or three when you kind of know what your deck's doing already. Mm -hmm. Reckoner Bank Buster. Oh man, I had so much talk about this card. So two mana, four, four artifact vehicle, cruise for three. But enters the battlefield with three charge counters on it. You can tap to tap. So note that all these abilities do not care about stats. So it's, you can also tap to and tap, remove a charge counter from it, draw a card. Then if there are no counters on it, Create a treasure token and a 1-1 one, one colorless pilot creature token with this creature cruises the vehicles for power 3. Yeah, it's pretty good. I mean, yeah, in limited you're just drawing cards until you can crew it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, it's totally good. So a lot of people are looking at this and freaking out, calling it like the next Maze Mind Tome. But the thing about Maze Mind Tome, people don't understand how big being able to tap this to just scry and gaining four life when it finishes off. People don't realize how big that was for why Maze Mind Dome was amazing in the format. If you're not playing against another control deck, the lack of... The fact that it's just kind of... You need to be able to crew this for you to play is my general argument. Because it's yeah. not... If you're facing a more aggressive deck, you don't have that mana just floating around that will get you killed. So you need to be able to crew this as a 2-mana 4-4 to help block... In, in Constructed? In Constructed, yes. Yeah, this doesn't seem good yeah. enough in Constructed. Yeah. The reason I'm saying that is people were hyping about this card in Constructed. Uh, and I'm like, it's, it might be playable. <laughs> I'm not going to yeah, fall into the hype. Um, the Treasure Token and Pilot are pretty nice, but they're not they're not for life when you're facing death. Mm -hmm. Ry Raito Sen Sentinel. 3-mana, three 3-3 three, three with Defender. When it enters the battlefield, target player mills 3 cards... And tap three, put target card from a graveyard on the bottom of its owner's library. It's like that lantern. Yep. Yeah. Raito's lantern. Oh, okay. It's, yeah. a layer, it's a reference to that. Uh, yeah. I mean, I guess there's a lot of graveyard effects this can stop in limited. I wouldn't play this in limited. Yeah. Um, so, I'm, I'm not even talking about constructed. I'm talking about, like, commander and stuff. But there's a card called Grenzo Dungeon Warden. 
which put the bomb card of your library into your graveyard. If it's a creature card with power less than equal, put it onto the battlefield. So there's like a Grenzo commander deck that loves cards like this that put cards on the bottom of your library. <laughs> so that's what it's for. That's, that's what, what they for. made it for. Yep, exactly. This is for Grenzo. <laughs> nice. This Grenzo Sentinel. Yeah, I was like, wait, wasn't there a lantern deck in modern that was super big? Different lantern, not right to lantern. <laughs> Runaway Trash Bots. Oh, cool. Three like mana, zero, four, constructed. Um, construct. It has Trample and gets plus one, plus zero for each artifact or enchantment card in your graveyard. Hmm. It's okay. I think the four health is why this is playable, if it's yeah, playable. Yeah, exactly. Because if you get three in there, it's a, like... Because it blocks in the early game, and then maybe it becomes like a 5-4, and that's that's good. Yeah. Once a 5-4, but the problem is it like, might take till turn four or five for it to become a 3-4. Yeah. Like... It, it it's really, kind of like an extra middle middle-ish threat, you know. I will say the fact that it has four health is nice, and the fact that there are channel cards that are artifacts and enchantments really helps. But oh yeah, the channel will just mm, yeah, yeah yeah. I I wouldn't be I would not be excited to pick this. Though. Yeah no no you pick this like and the sentinel counters this. <laughs> uh, what sentinel? The the one we just looked at. Oh right. Yeah. <laughs> If you're willing to pay three mana per point of attack. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah. Like, it won't win the game on its own, because while four health is great, it's not that great. But it does have trample. But it's a good modified target. Yeah. If it was a war, if it was a warrior or samurai, I'd be much more hype about this. True. Searchlight Companion. Three mana, one, one drone with flying. When Searchlight Companion enters the battlefield, create a one, one color spirit creature <laughs> token. I feel like this card's gonna be randomly hell good somehow. It, exactly. Like this <laughs> This is one of those. Like Forsaken Monument gives you two three threes with this. Um ninja it triggers ninjutsu and likes being played again. Yeah. So it's just randomly gonna be good, but if you can't make it good I yeah. I don't know, someone's gonna it's gonna end up playing and it's gonna just end up giving accruing enough value to lose me the game against my opponent. I don't know how they did it, but it's going to happen. <laughs> yeah, I'm not that advanced. So no. Shrine Steward. Five mana, three, two construct. Where is the battlefield? You may search your library for an aura or shrine card. Reveal it and put it into your hand, then shuffle. Nice. If you have a good aura or a good shrine, grab this. Um, I will... One. Yeah, I was going to say, like, we have that Jororaga Visionary, which is a four mana card that just draws a card. And as <laughs> I said, the meta was too fast for it. Mm -hmm. This is slower... But it fetches a specific card. So if you have a specific card for it, great to have one of. Surge Hacker Mech. Four mana, five, five, that cruise for four. It's a vehicle. Menace. And when it enters the battlefield, it deals damage equal to twice the number of vehicles you control to target creature or planeswalker opponent controls. This is awesome. If you control one other vehicle, this is on right to kill spell. Yeah. This is really good. Pick this unlimited for sure. Yeah, if you don't have another vehicle, it's still a kill spell for small yeah, creatures and a threat. It's a five mana men five five with menace. It's a menace. <laughs> yeah, no, the search hacker mech is. I think it's a bomb. Yeah, this is a bomb. Might see constructed play. We need to see the vehicle deck first, but it could it could fit in it. Oh my gosh, it's in the Forsaken Monument deck. Hey, Thundersteel Colossus. 7 mana, 7-7 seven, seven vehicle with Trample and Haste, Crew 2. And it's common. I love this card. Yeah, this is a card that we, like, we all love it because it exists. And then someone's going to put, there's a blue card that allows you to search your library for any vehicle. And for 4 mana. So, like, if you could, <sighs> like, this card says, okay, now you could pick that card. Yep. Um, <laughs> yeah, love that this card exists. Pick it, I would pick it limited for your top end. Yeah. yeah. Tuwashi Guidebots. Four mana, two, one, construct. When it is the battlefield, put plus and plus one counter on target creature you control. And it has tap four, tap, draw a card, but it costs one less to activate for each modified creature you control. Whoa. I think this card is pretty good for limited. Yeah. I mean, tempo-wise it's bad, but if you're on, if you're like mid-range or controlled, yeah. pick this. Yeah, I think this, you have to treat this as a late game card, because it's recursive card draw. Yeah. But that's really good in limited, so. And it's a body if you really need it. Uh, yeah. Walking Skyscraper. Yeah. 8 mana, 8-8. Eight, eight. Also costs 1 less for each modified creature you control. It has Trample, so it's this is your finisher. And it has Hexproof as long as it's untapped. Yeah, this card's sick. I would take this every time. Yeah, this yeah. is your finisher, and it's for any deck you play. Mm -hmm. 
All right, and that's Ooh. the artifacts. We'll just do lands as well, because, yeah, we only have yeah. so many. So you have the... So yeah. let's look at them in, in yeah. sets. So you have the enters tapped, gains a life. Yeah. So those are really good for... Yeah. Um, uh, just splashing... Yeah. Limited color. loves that Thank for you. making yeah. sure your uh, colors fit or fix properly. That's what I was trying to say, yeah. <laughs> and also because we have those invoke cards that ask for four mana of one color, they like those as well. True. So having all ten of these in the format is just great oh, to... all ten. Oh my god. Yeah, all ten are in the format. It's really nice to have. Alright, um, what else we have? Alright, so next we have the Legendary cycle lands. Cycle. And each of these are different because they have different channel abilities. So they're all legendary lands. Um, they have their untapped lands, so they're all add mana of their color. And they all... Their channel ability costs one less to cast for each legendary creature you control. All of them do have that. But what they do is different. So this one is channel for two... And you destroy target artifact, enchantment, or non-basic land and opponent controls, and then they search their library for a land card with a basic land type and put it onto the battlefield. Hmm. So I guess this is standard, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Also, just I mean, it's it's obvious, but just to say it, uh, the channel ability kind of fixes the legendary land problem because, like, the problem is you play a legendary land, you have another one in your hand, but can't do anything with it. So. And I would like to counter that. People have been putting four of these legendary lands at their deck and assuming they could still play only 24 lands. Unless your deck's aggressive, unless the channel ability is going to be used three times, like, you can't just assume that these are always going to be playable if you have four of them. The yeah, f the I guess it doesn't solve it 100%, but yeah, I see what you're saying. But channel definitely helps, um, and the first one is free. Having one of these in your deck is always a positive. Yeah, okay, but as far as this one goes, I guess it's, it's probably good for Constructed. Yeah, I don't know. Messes up their mana base. I feel like, like, a lot of people are hyped about this. I feel like you need a specific theme you're threatening, uh, that's threatening you. Um, destroying a non-basic land at opponent controls is pretty big. It kills the man lands. Um, but then it's competing with Field of the Dead, or Field of Ruin, sorry. Uh, Field of Ruin is a land that has basically the same channel. Oh, okay. It's except it also because it's destroying it's destroying itself as a land. It's searching your library for your basic land and putting to play as well. So, mm. I, you really need a threat that you're killing with this. But if you have a threat that you're, I feel like even though this is a two mana channel, you're playing on turn six at the latest. One, you're getting rid of whatever threat they're using. Yeah, I'm not excited about that. Yeah. Next. Gonjo, Seat of the Empire. This is the white one. Channels for three to deal four damage target attacking Ooh. or blocking creature. I like this one. Yeah. This one, um, it just... By the way, these lands we're actually talking about constructed as well. Oh, yeah. In limited... In limited, you're never going to have more than one why not play it. I guess you could pick this in limited. The yeah. green one, you don't pick in limited. Yeah. This one, yeah, you could pick it. It's well, fine. Green one, you could pick in limited to kill their biggest... Their big six mana enchantment creature, and Wait, they already no, have enough what? lands. This only hits... Oh, destroy artifact enchantment. Oh, I didn't even notice it did that. Oh, okay, this card's actually pretty good. Yeah. I thought it was just yeah. destroy a non-basic land. Yeah, I will state you can't use it to destroy artifacts and enchantments at, like, turn two. That's a bad idea. You're ramping your opponent in a big way. Yeah, okay, I see what you're saying. Okay, yeah, this card's not bad. Okay, yeah. you can pick this in limited yeah. for sure. This is a later game channel, but it's a great later game channel. Yeah, for sure. All right. And then this one's pretty good, too. Yeah, this one is the early game channel. This is, I'm going to die, let's stop the bleeding. <laughs> yeah, yep. People are actually hyped about this one in Constructed because it stops bleeding. It kills every... Like, four damage, as I said, is a major breaking point in this format. And against, like, Goldspan Dragon, it's not casting mm. a spell against it, so it just Ooh, killing yeah, yeah. it Some and ability. not giving them a treasure token. Yep. So, yeah, people are hyped about this one. Mana and a kill spell. All right. And then... Mech. Do you Wait, want to do go... all the channels? Yeah, all right. let's do all the channels first. Otawara, Soaring Sky. This is the blue one. Four mana, discard. Return dragon, artifact, creature, enchantment, or planeswalker to its owner's hand. Ooh. I'd say it's good. I would play this yeah. in limited. When you need a bounce spell, you need a bounce spell. Mm -hmm. um, I like having... This is a card that I think I have two of in standard. Like, you don't want too many of these effects, and but you're happy to have them when you need them. Yeah, I dig it. All right. I dig it. And the next one's so Zen. Zokinzen, Crucible of Zokinzen. Defiance. This is the red one. Four mana. You create two 1-1 one, one colorless spirit creature tokens... That gain haste until end of turn. I don't know. 
it's okay. It's blockers. It's a raise the alarm for blocking. Yeah. And then also it's two damage if you need the two damage. Yeah, so in limited, this is an okay ability. You pick it... Like, don't pick it above the value of the channel ability. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. It's um, yeah. For constructed, um, literally just making two one ones and it's in speed, holding stuff up, it... This can this can be really good. Yeah, I feel like in constructed you rate it way differently because in constructed you literally because okay in limited this is replacing an entire pick so it's an entire like some yeah. other card whereas and so the rare pick yeah whereas in constructed you could just take a mountain out put one of these in and that's good yeah like definitely I will state that the difference of this being a pick versus this being just a card slotted into the deck mm -hmm. is like this replacing whatever card you of the fourteen you could have picked. Versus this card replacing a basic mountain. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That's that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. yeah. So unlimited, I pick it if like it works. But yeah, it's not. So that that's great. what you're saying because I was so confident. Like you want two, maybe three of these in your constructed deck, but unlimited, it's just not worth it because it's four mana for two power. Mm -hmm. Got it. Yeah. Is this the last one? Last, I think that's the last one. Numa abandoned mire. Form. This is the swamp channels for four. Mill three cards, the return a creature or planeswalker card from your graveyard to your hand. Nah. <laughs> I don't know. You don't not, want this unlimited. Not for limited. Um constructed, this might just be one like a one of a lot of times, unless it really matters. I will note that because you can fetch any land with a five mana green dragon, oh, yeah. you can fetch this, bring back the green dragon to do it again. <laughs> um True. I don't think that's gonna be something that happens too often, but it's cool that you can do it. Because I don't think that dragon sees play too often. All right, so that's uh, the five legendary lands. And then we went through those. Mech Hainer. adds one adds a colorless or adds one mana of any color for pilot or vehicle spells. Oh, nice. Or you tap three and tap. Target vehicle becomes an artifact creature until end turn. Sick. So it pays for the crew cost. Definitely could play this in a deck with a lot of vehicles in limited. Maybe like what? Well, how many would you say you'd need? Like four vehicles for this to be useful? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, four vehicles. Yeah. I think, I think if you have if your deck has like it's not asking for like double blue and double white or just not asking yeah. for too much of a color, you might be able to play one with just a single vehicle or two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I could see that. Um, yeah, standard is just are you the vehicle deck? Yes or no. Four of zero of that's the decision. <laughs> Roadside well query. This one I have a lot. Of, like, all right, so it's adds a colorless or you tap to tap sacrifice it. Draw a card if you control artifact. Draw a card if you control enchantment. Ooh. So it could be a double draw if you have both. You could play this unlimited. I can mm -hmm. see you play one or one or two if you're just two colors and same kind of thing like you said. If you don't have a lot of like three blue, three white cards, yeah. yeah. Do you have to be careful? But like th in the late game, if you don't need that much land, three mana, draw, sacrifice a land, draw a card is actually significant enough. The fact that this can be a three mana divin instant speed divination. Yeah. Um, the two cards is like whoa. Yeah, could, this this could be great. I think this is seen constructed play. I'm wondering how much constructed play and how many you play because mm -hmm. it is colorless. It's only tapping yeah, the colorless. I think it, yeah, I agree. Could have some impact on constructed. All right, secluded courtyard. Um, when it enters the battlefield, you choose a creature type. It adds a colorless or it adds one map of any color for creature spells and abilities of creatures of the chosen type. Oh, this is that card you were telling me about earlier. Yeah. <laughs> I love cards like these, the tribal tribal enablers, basically. This was one of the best... This is like a reprint of a card from a previous format, and it was the best card in Constructed for that format. Nice. Because it was like... It had a bunch of tribal synergies with humans and vampires, I think. Like, I think I think this was... What, it, no, it wasn't Innistrad, but there was a card like this that came around that era. and What? It was in... Because there was a Changeling one in the same set, right? Maybe. Mirror room or something. Yeah, anyways, I would say pick this. Uh, even in two color, you can pick this. Yeah. If you have, like, enough of a tribal yeah. theme. Yeah, you know? name human, and it hits way more than you'd expect. Yeah, exactly. Like, like just kind of look at your cards beforehand. Yeah. Be like, okay. um, tip of advice, if you're playing um, MTGA, you can actually click on, like, the oh, decks yeah. where it shows the map, and it will actually say creatures, and it will list out all the types and how many of each type you have. Um, but do you have any more to say? No. Just wanted to give them that advice. Um, Uncharted Haven. Oh, this is just for... Oh. Yeah. 
Good so card. here's the battlefield tapped. It here's the battlefield. You choose a color. It's one man of the color. So the this color. is this is a uh, basically evolving wilds. A little bit worse, but yeah, I would say worse because evolving wilds then thins your deck too. And also landfall triggers and landfall triggers too. Yeah. But so, yeah, so this is worse than evolving wilds, but this it's is more fair. <laughs> so you can, I think you could consistently play a three color deck in this format. Then me too. After seeing all these, yeah, you could definitely. That's do awesome, it. and those are all common. Okay, now this card, dude. So no, the forest. Hmm. Hmm. Probably pick. There's a there's a standard aggro deck that. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I can see a certain deck in standard. No, bit. no, wait, no. The snow. It's just it's competing with snow forest. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Oh man, I just realized worse. these are all competing with snowlands. Oh god. They actually. Oh, why they even print these cards? <laughs> they don't even make standard playable. They play it for the beautiful art, dude. Look at these like. That's the worst one. Geometric. You like that one? Oh, that's what it is. Yeah. I I'm love how they do waterfalls on islands, even if I don't... I do think that's cool. I don't like the look of these buildings, Yeah, though. the buildings are the worst part of they it. They look stupid. I mean, it ruined the yeah. car. And I hate... Because there's a lot of blue lands that they do, and I, I guess it's something that people like, where it's like... It's like computerized, almost, you know? It's like... Like, they do mm -hmm. a lot of things that are like... It's like super either future-y or like... Compute. I don't know. I won't it. deny. I hate this land until I saw the waterfall just like spinning in the air. Okay, yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, that being said, if you're looking Sorry. at just base beauty, yeah, that one's sick. What other cool ones they have? Oh, the planes. That one's awesome. Also, of course, um, since we're looking at all the beautiful art, we oh, have to go yeah. to the variant card image gallery as the last lands. Oh. The beautiful, These are awesome. beautiful These lands. Are so sick. All like. Japanese style. Way paintings. overpowered. These are overpowered. Yeah. These these First might pick. just knock Snowlands off the format. Are these in packs? I think yes, packs. Yes, physical packs. Yo. All these variant art styles. I think you have a chance of gaining them. So. First pick, every time. Yep. I mean, here's so I'm actually gonna explain why that is seriously a first pick. You're doing this in an actual physical cards, which means the cards themselves has value. <laughs> Every deck is playing a certain amount of lands anyways and people, so people are going to be playing basic lands no matter what format they're playing in. These, so whatever the coolest basic land is, is the, like, the most expensive card in the format sometimes. Because it's all, it's... <laughs> this is monetary value. It's a staple of standard for the end of time, basically. So, if this is, like, the most beautiful mountain in the game... It is, like, I would not be surprised to see high costs. Like, I want to know what the cost would be. What's, I almost want to Google, like, MTG most beautiful basic lands or something. <laughs> but, like, people pay a lot of money. You'd be surprised. Also, they always make the cut in your deck. Yep. All right. Well, we went through all the cards. Is there any last card you want to, like, think, talk about? Last card you want to... Consider, no, not really. I don't know. I just really like that they're they're finally going back to Kamigawa, even though it's not really Kamigawa. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's it doesn't feel like Kamigawa. We're going back to Japan, except it's. It feels like they just used Kamigawa to kind of have this. This is a cool set, you know. Yeah. Like it's like a future meets ancient. Yeah. Like spirits, I, I but it really, doesn't feel like Kamigawa yeah. really. If it know? wasn't for the enchantment versus artifact, I would say it wasn't Kamigawa. It's just Kaldesh, but. Yeah, because of the vehicles and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, but because of the enchantments, they're high. They're but, sorry. There's a big story of the fight of Kamigawa versus this futurism, and like you feel the sense of the plane I knew is disappearing. It's getting replaced with this, and that's not like it's. Congratulations, you made us feel the pain <laughs> that the people that are getting replaced by the futurists are feeling. Thank you for that. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, I guess this is technically art. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If art makes you cry, it's good art. I didn't think they'd make me cry like this, though, jerks. I do like all the throwbacks that, like, mm. outside of the new cam... Like, this could feel like the old Kamigawa, God. you know? I I just wish that they said if it dies or is exiled so I could play it and construct it. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you can still find a way. We'll find a way. We'll we'll just make the format so different that those exile cards don't see play anymore. We'll just for three weeks 
we will figure out what the counter to that deck is and run nothing but that deck for three weeks straight and make people <laughs> forget that's a good deck. <laughs> Alright, do you have a favorite card? Um... Are you a nighttime streamer? Sure? I just, I can't find time during the day, so basically, yeah, it looks like we are Ace Law. Um, my favorite card, I think, is the one, um, so I think I can guess what your favorite card is. What? Guess, because I don't know. Um, I, I just, I like the dragons. Oh, I guess so. <laughs> I guess so. But, dude, it doesn't feel like a favorite. None of these yeah. cards really, like, blow my mind. That's the thing yeah. I hate about this set. No, none of the card screams, we're home. We're yeah. back in Kamigawa. Or, like... None of the cards make me want to get back into magic, but... Yeah. Which sucks, because Kami always my... It's the nostalgic set, yeah. my favorite set. Like, that I, card's probably the best. Yeah. So. This is the best. Um, I think, hands down, this is the best card in the set, which... I don't want to say that's my favorite. Like, my favorite has to be the... Okay. Something that... Not objectively the best, but subjectively the best. Yeah. Colossal Tur Sky Turtle. <laughs> <laughs> Just because your deck is going to be able to... Like, I'm going to put this in Constructed, and it's a cool card. Yeah. Like, it's... This. It's Johnny and Spike. All right, and Colossal it's Sky Turtle. Because it's a seven mana. Is the best card at the set. Got it. All right. Well, now you know. It fills Timmy's and Johnny's. Yeah, Timmy's, and Johnny. Johnny's. I'm going to make Spike happy with it. <laughs> All, right. All right, Vorthos. What is your problems with Colossal Sky Turtle? Let's tell a story of Colossal Sky Turtle. Wait, are there any cards that fit? Oh, you gotta watch. You gotta. You just yeah. got. You gotta watch the whole review. Yeah, there are lots. Um, for current standard, there's. A I'm trying to think of a few, but I think there's some black and... there's White has a lot of good cards. Um, I mean, the whole thing about current hmm. standard is you have to say what cards are getting replaced for this, and there's no strict upgrades. So you... Oh, hold up, hold up. There is a, a, some strict upgrades. The lands. These legendary lands, the first one is always free because it's just basically a forest that has channel for a special ability. This is a plane that has channel. I don't think you're playing four of because obviously it's legendary, but um, all of these special legendary lands are just strict upgrades to basic lands. So you'll see at least one of each of those, is my guess. Yeah. So if you're asking for what fit into current meta decks, I unfortunately I don't think so. There's like I can't think of one off the top of my head at least. But then again, I'm not interested in. I feel like you. I feel like you did say it during our review. But maybe you just didn't oh, remember it. Yeah, um, I feel like there was. Oh, there, I feel like there was a bunch you said this could go in that deck that exists, but I didn't. Yeah, I didn't remember. Voltaic Surge. Oh, I yeah, said yeah. that um, Thundering Rebuke is already being played. Mono Green. Oh yeah, Invoke. The Mono Green Invoke. I did say as well. Um, the Mono Green Invoke. I said um, because it just immediately makes the tokens. Oh, yeah, it makes yeah. two of them, so it's hard to remove. Harder to remove. Um, this might replace Ren and Seven for the more aggressive green decks. So, March of Burn, Gene Life, we were talking about that might be more modern playable, but... Oh, tell me of Safekeeping, some people are thinking about... Oh, yeah. Yeah. This card, because it gives Hexproof and Indestructible to any permanents, some people are thinking that because it protects oh, any chariot. permanents... Yeah, yeah. So Works with Chariot. About. Yeah, he's the same thing I was talking about. Mm -hmm. Um... Yeah, there wasn't anything that's, like, strict upgrades other than those lands, so. <laughs> but I'm more hyped about the new decks it's building than, like, replacing cards for current decks, honestly, so. I'm happy with this set. I think because I'm having a hard time thinking about that, I actually, like, prefer that, personally. Like, if there was strict upgrades everywhere, it wouldn't feel like it's a new set. It feels like it's just old set plus plus. Yeah. Hey, that's really good, Ace Law. Glad to hear it, man. Ah, that's a lot of work. Be proud of yourself, Ace Law. Be proud of yourself. All right. See, I have no context for how good that is, but good job. <laughs> Sorry. Um, <laughs> no, no, you're you. There. So, to be clear, um, I've there. Seen, I've seen lots of people playing that. Ace Law. With that, Ace Law is now the third person in the world who could go sub hour in Rogue Legacy Two. Oh no way! That's crazy. Good job, man. Yep. All right. Well, with that, I think we're done. Everyone, this is Focus. Oh yeah, he's Focus. awesome. He's my bro, and he's also awesome. Like those are not necessary. <laughs> because he's my bro, he's awesome by being yeah. my bro. These are corollary, but not cause causal. Um, are you still gonna? Are you gonna stream more? 
I think I'm done. I still have some stuff to do before tonight. Okay. okay. But yeah. yeah. Goodbye. Thanks for watching. Thanks for coming in right at the end, Asla. Sorry you came right at the end. But yep. yeah. See you guys later. Hope you have a wonderful day. And yeah. Have a nice time.